Hey guys, it's Tom with Grow Your Heirlooms. You know, I've, I've always been on this quest. <laughs> of course, my channel is about being independent, being, you know, being prepared if anything happens. But one quest that I've been on that I've not been satisfied is to find some way to generate uh, electricity. Now, I'm not talking about, like, big solar panels. And I know I've seen tons of videos on those Harbor Freight panels and and uh, you know people have bought you know spent thousands of dollars on solar panels and that and that's wonderful I mean I I love that stuff but I'm talking about a, a portable solar panel that I could if electricity goes down that if I were having to either leave the house or just even if I'm out backpacking or anything like that to be able to have a portable solar panel that I could take with me to generate enough electricity to at least charge my phone so far I've not been satisfied with any of the panels I've tested. I've got a couple more that I'm, that I'm going to go through, but I was so dissatisfied that I didn't even bother making a video on them. That's how, that's how much disdain I had for those junky little things. And so, but I have come across one that, that at least deserves, deserves my attention, at least enough for me to make a video. And that is the, the Juice Orange Solar, the portable solar charger. Um, <clears throat> If you go out on my website, I'm not going to bore you with all the, the, the technical specs and, and all the things like that. I'll give you a, a quick rundown of, of what I think about this. And I really do, I really do like this, this charger. Now, I'm, I'm going to put a link to my website where I've gone out and I've written a complete review on it. And so I'm not going to bore you with all the, the details about the little frustration I had that I had to call them or I had to email them and things like that. But... Um, one thing that I that I it, my requirement was I just wanted to be able to charge my Samsung Galaxy S3. Now that's not a lot to ask. However, in 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 solar chargers, you're you're asking a lot because the panels are not that big, and so this here doesn't generate a whole lot of energy, but it will generate enough to at least charge this once. Now on the back of this. It says one hour of sun equals two hours of talk time. Yeah, that's not happening with the S3. I don't. Maybe my test somehow is, uh, is is skewed in some way that I'm doing something wrong. But when I put this thing in full sun for one hour, it doesn't charge this that much to be able to talk for two hours on this. Now, maybe maybe what they're talking about here is that looks like a picture of a of an iPhone. <laughs> So I mean I, I don't know I don't know exactly what what's going on here, but that's just in my in my test that didn't happen. However, this at a full charge will charge this fully, and it will give me 31% left on this. So if I charge this solar charger up to 100%, and then I plug this in to the charger, it will drain 61% of this charger. Okay, so I can charge this fully to 100%. There will be 31% left on this. I have to put this back out in the sun and charge it up, and it takes quite a few hours to charge it back up to 100%. A full day of, of sun, basically. So this works fine. The two together work fine if you have a full day of sun, which I'm okay with because at least it's giving me some power. Now, I had another requirement. It wasn't, well, it wasn't really a requirement. It was kind of a, I, I would like it to happen. And that would be... Yeah, it would be nice if I had the stuff right here that I could just grab instead of leaning. <laughs> now, I use these power banks, and I love these portable power banks. This is a 2900 milliamp power bank. And I thought it would be nice to be able to take this juice charger and charge up this power bank. However, it doesn't happen. This connecting to the charger, connecting to this power bank, the charger will not charge these power banks. I have two of them. It won't charge either one. I don't know if it's the circuitry in, in, in this. I, I can't believe that that's, that that's the case because I can charge this through an outlet with the 5 volt connector on it. And so I'm not sure why this doesn't charge my power banks. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If somebody knows why, uh, please leave a comment or go out to my website and leave a comment because I'd really love to know. And then the third requirement, well, not a requirement, remember, this is the requirement to be able to have solar power to charge my cell phone. That's, that's the big one. 
I threw this into the mix. My rechargeable black diamond headlamp. I use this when the power goes out. I use this all the time. This is like my second best friend. This is my best friend. This is my second best friend. Anyways, this has three 1,000 milliamp AAA batteries in it. I, I can get a lo lots and lots of hours out of, out of one charge. I plug this. I did charge this up fully. Plug this in. And I can get two full charges out of one full charge of this. So that, that makes me happy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's... Because this is my this is my my lifeline, and when I'm when I'm out, you know, when it's when the, when the power's down, I have to be able to see. And so these two uh, pieces of gear, very important. These can get charged by the Juice Solar. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is give Juice a thumbs up on the packaging. People that have seen me do reviews before know my absolute complete disdain for plastic packaging. You know that molded stuff that you can never reuse and you pull the the stuff out of the package and you throw the plastic package away I hate that stuff so thumbs up on the recyclable cardboard packaging I like this now another thing too is that um, when you when you get this you recycle that um, I don't know the purpose of plastic but <laughs> to protect it Okay, now this, this is really not an unboxing because I've been using this a lot. I just wanted to show you what you get in this. Now this is the, the unit here, but one thing that I, that I, first thing that I noticed when I pulled it out was plastic, hard plastic. Now, I, I, I'm not against hard plastic. I mean, it's, it's a lot better than if it was made out of metal or cement. I get you. But the thing is, is that when you take these out, you're going to set this on gravel or rocks or anything like that and this plastic is just in my opinion a weak link I would have liked to have seen some kind of a rubber armor around here and um, that way when you set it down there's also not a shock when you when you set it down on something hard now one thing that they also give you is they give you this plastic ziplock sleeve now this is a start this, this is a start there they're, they're, people are starting to get you know, a little bit wiser on on packaging, and um, but to me this, okay, this is all right. I guess what you do is you can put all your tips and your cords in here and maybe attach it to this somehow. But that's not what I do. Let me show you what I do. I went out and I've got a bunch of these Ziploc bags. These, um, I mean, zipper zipper bags, and I put everything that they gave me in here. These I can write on these. Well, I can write on that, can I? Okay. But anyways, these are, are, in my opinion, a lot easier to store. I don't need to attach it to this because when I, when I get one tip, the one tip that I need, I, I keep the other ones at home. I'm not going to take everything with me. So anyways, all of them are in here. One thing also I do like about this, this charger is this security, this hole. Uh, you can take a, like a bike cable or any kind of a, of a chain or something and put it through here and attach it to something if you're at a camp or whatever and you can lock it up and secure it so that's a that's a plus right there and um, now the things that you do get with with your chart with your charger you get this white cord this white cord plugs the charger into its only port of course which is a micro SD so the micro SD plugs into this this plugs into a computer now the purpose of this is that you can either charge this with the computer or you can just plug this in to get kind of a, a status uh, information about, about your charger. It'll give you information about manufacturer date, serial number, the, 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 the charge that's in it, how much, how much juice there is in this. So that's a, that's a, pretty, good, that's a pretty good thing to have. Um, and then the, the other thing you get, of course, you do get your manual, your instruction book. And then you get various tips. You get four different tips with this. You get of course your micro SD and then you plug this into here and then on the other end you get this this uh, universal tip here that you you plug all these into like that now this is a, a USB so if you want to plug a USB device into this you could then you get your micro USB which is uh, for my like my Samsung Galaxy and things like that and then you get a you get a mini USB to charge mini USB devices and then there's another one here which I don't use because this is for Apple and um, I don't have any Apple products so this is for like the iPhone and the iPad and whatnot. that one to me is useless but anyways now another thing that I don't 
that does not impress me. They chose to make a micro USB, which means I need to go micro USB to micro USB to go into my Samsung phone. Now you might not think that that's a big deal. However, when I first got this, I plugged this into my phone to charge it. I plugged this into the computer first, and it said I had 60% juice. Okay, so I thought, okay, let's see how much of that juice I'll use plugging this into my phone and charging my phone. So I plugged this into my phone, and of course, nothing happened. I unplug it, plug it back in, it starts to charge my phone. My phone charges for a minute or two, and then all of a sudden stops charging. I had to fiddle with this multiple times uh, to get it to finally start charging. To make a long story short, I email, email the company, and they say, okay, it appears that this cable is bad. Okay, fine. If I could have gone to my, my drawer in my computer room and just pulled out a USB cable, a USB to micro USB, and tried a new cable, life would have been grand. However, micro USB to micro USB, I challenge you to find one. There's one place on the internet, and it's like a custom cable place where you can buy one of these, and it's not cheap, and it's, well, maybe they're cheap, but, I mean, I have to order them. It's a special order. This is a proprietary cable. Why? I mean, I... Can you can you just really explain to me why they did this? Was there any logical reason for them doing this? Proprietary cabling? I mean, come on. A USB, this thing is big enough, you could have put a USB port on this. And then I could have used a regular USB, but no. But anyways, all in all, I think this is, this is a, a pretty good way to generate some electricity if you're in a situation, like even if you're out camping or whatever, or you're hiking, or if the grid does go down and you don't happen to uh, need your phone constantly, then this is going to work fine for you. You can charge headlamps, you can charge phones. If you don't happen to have a large uh, screen smartphone like I have, then by all means this is a great little device. And, and even though it, I only get one charge out of this and I need full sun to bring this back up to charge, I'm still going to give this a, a, a thumbs up because I think this is, this is a, a step in the right direction and it's a step that, that I have not seen any solar companies take yet and I think that there's a lot of pluses with it there's uh, the fact that it's waterproof you can put it out and if it starts to rain is not gonna hurt it you can, it'll start to charge in low light it won't charge fast in low light but it will charge in low light um, another thing about this is you've got two lights here this green light here is your status light that'll tell you how many times it blinks it'll tell you how strong the how much juice you have in the battery which is kinda nice I don't like it, I'll explain in a minute. This one here is your charge light. If it blinks slowly red, it means that it's slowly charging. If it blinks fast, it means it's fast charging, usually in, in full sun. And if it's not blinking at all, you're not getting any charge. Back to the green light. When I first got this, it blinked four times, okay? To me, I didn't, even if I look in the instruction book, it says that it's like 40 to 60% or something like that. You'll have to look it up. And then if it blinks five times, it means it's 80 to 100%. Okay, really guys? So I have to guess whether it's 80 or 100% if this blinks five times. Okay, I want to know, is it 80% charged or is it 100% charged? What I would like to see would be a status bar here of lights. And just push a little button, and then it brings my status. And the light on top, if it hits the light on top, that's a full 100% charge. Anyways, uh, I, I, I really do recommend this. I, I think for its price, I mean, I think it's a little pricey, but... You know, it's it's 100. And I paid 150 bucks for it, 153, I think, and uh, which isn't too awfully bad. I mean, you don't buy solar to save money. I mean, we know that. We buy it to have to have power when the when the grid goes down. So you're never gonna. I mean, it's almost impossible to save money by buying solar. To you know, so it's it's no. I'm I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I do recommend it. Uh, like I say, go out to my website. I'll post a link below and you can get a complete written review on it. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll catch you all later.